Hey, hello Dan Safarians, welcome back to my studio. Today, let's talk about the most deadly and aggressive animals out there. The most deadly predators, so let's get right into it. Okay guys, so let's begin. The first one right here that I want to talk about is the Komodo dragon, okay? Komodo dragons, they are actually native to Indonesia, Sumatra. You can find lots of them like, you know, on the mountains. And you guys know that they are actually poisonous. Their venom is actually very poisonous. Once bitten, the venom is strong enough to kill any animals and even humans within a few hours. So they are very, very deadly and they are really fast. So do not go and provoke them. Once they have bitten you, you can say goodbye. <laughs> yeah, I'm not kidding you guys. Really, really. They are really, really very, very strong. Okay, let's move on. Next up, okay, we have... Okay, this is actually the polar bear. And besides the crocodiles and the alligators, the polar bears actually have one of the biggest bite force on Earth. In fact, it has the biggest bite force when it comes to all bears considered. Yes, they are very deadly. They are even known to eat their own kind when they are very, very hungry. Yeah, so this is a polar bear. Okay, let's move on. Uh, let's take a look at this. I think right over here, we have a saltwater crocodile. So the saltwater crocodile, um, it was recorded to have the biggest bite force, even larger than an alligator. So a saltwater crocodile was recorded to have the biggest bite force. You know, um, you know, it was a very, very close um, competition between you know another alligator. So this is a crocodile right over here. Okay. Next, let's take a look at jaguars. Jaguars are extremely, extremely strong and agile. Their whole body is filled with muscular fibers and they can like jump and climb on trees at really fast speed. So they are super aggressive, super aggressive predators. Okay, next we have a grizzly bear. Okay, there aren't many attacks on humans recorded since 2011. I think there are only three attacks recorded so far. They don't usually go around attacking humans unless they're trying to protect their young, but they are very, very strong. You can see their paws with the claws. I mean, with one strike, they can basically just, you know, kill a lot of humans just with the strike, just with the bare paws, okay? Next. Right over here, we have an alligator. As you guys know, alligators, they are extremely strong as well. They are able to grab hold of animals and just drown them as well. Yep, very, very strong reptile. This one right here um, is another alligator. You can see alligators are like walking dinosaurs. I really love this figure because it looks so realistic. It looks very, very beautiful. I think this has got to be one of my most favorite um, alligator figures. Okay. Moving on, what do we have right here? I think this is a leopard, of course. You guys know that all these big cats, they are extremely good hunters. So they like to stalk their prey, you know, secretly, stealthily, and pounce on them. So they are very fast. They're extremely intelligent as well. Okay. Um, bald eagle is another really, really deadly predator. They have very good eyesight. So they can like just soar around in the sky and they are able to spot like a little mouse or rat or a rabbit they can just swoop down at really fast speed and grab hold of the prey. Yeah, very incredible um, animal. Okay, next. What is this guys? Is this a saltwater crocodile? Not too sure. Let's have a look at this. This is probably the one that I'm trying to look for. Uh, I'm not too sure, but you know, right over here, you can see we have two crocs and I think they are actually the same um, sculpt just with a different paint work, of course. You know, crocodiles, they come in uh, multiple colors, okay? So saltwater crocodiles are the biggest reptile out there. Yep, let's try it. Next, let's take a look at this. Another deadly predator. So hyenas, they love to work in um, teams, okay? So they actually hunt in packs and they can actually take down their prey, you know, with very, very good teamwork. Sometimes they can even, you know, attack and kill a lion, especially the younger ones. Okay, let's move on. Lion, of course, you know, we don't even need to 
know that it is a deadly animal very very deadly predator i mean they don't do the hunting most of the time the female lions do the hunting but they are very strong especially when it comes to um, defending its pride so lions have to defend their pride against other male lions from another pride yeah so they're very strong um yeah very very strong um big cats out there okay let's move on and take a look what else do we have okay seems like we have more komodo dragons do you guys know that komodo dragons is actually one of my most favorite reptiles so this figure looks really nice i love this a lot it looks like an actual lizard okay another komodo dragon guys okay this one looks really realistic you can see the tail it um, the, on the tail the tongue is like sticking out so if you look at the body they do seem a little bit slow but they can actually run really really fast okay they have poisonous venom that can kill you in a matter of hours yep it is that deadly next another deadly predator the cheetah the fastest land animal on earth it can basically run up to speeds of 120 kilometers per hour it can take down its prey once it has targeted it it can run really really fast in the short sprints not many prey are able to you know escape escape from them this is another one you can see the entire body is like stretched out beautifully so you can actually imagine that it is running really really fast aggressive hunter Okay, this is another crocodile, and this is actually a Nile crocodile. So the Nile crocodile loves to hide or camouflage at the watering hole, and while animals such as zebras and other gazelles, um, you know, is drinking water, they would just pounce on them, grab hold of their feet, or even the body or neck, and drown them in the water before eating them. So they are extremely good hunters as well. Black panther, it is also like a, um, you know, a black leopard. So you can see, you know, because of its color, they are able to camouflage themselves really, really well in the um, dense forest. Yep. Next, what do we have right here? We have a small little wild cat. This is actually a, um, I'm trying to find a name. This is a bobcat. So bobcats, okay, they're not exactly like super deadly, but they are great hunters when it comes to hunting for small little animals. African wild dog, not, not exactly that deadly, but they do work very, very closely in groups and um, to take down their prey. Yeah. Moving on, we have a lion. So the lion needs no introduction. Extremely ferocious, a defender of its pride great strength another crocodile right over here we have a tiger yes tigers are actually very underestimated in fact a fully grown tiger can actually grow bigger than a fully grown lion okay so they are extremely strong snow leopard is another excellent hunter um, and they do the hunting in the snowy mountains and their fur actually keep them, keep them warm and at the same time it helps them to camouflage in the snowy mountains yeah these colors with the spots actually help them to camouflage really really well okay we have another leopard right here this is a tiger okay so tigers can be found in our malaysia some wild tigers okay they can also be found in Bengal. They can also be found in India. So tigers are known to attack like villages that are actually close to the forest, the jungle. Yeah, and they are known to attack human beings. So there are, we have two more tigers right over here, which looks really beautiful. Okay, uh, yeah, I think both tigers, they look incredibly beautiful. I think one is a female tiger, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, there's one which is a tigress probably this one yeah it's really beautiful okay what do we have right here we have a florida panther okay so i think um i don't have much facts about the florida panther but they are extremely good hunters as well they have a very good sense of smell their hearing is excellent 
and they're super athletic and they are able to like um, camouflage themselves really well before pouncing on his prey. Really good hunters as well. Another Komodo dragon. Yep, so like what I've mentioned, they are extremely strong and agile. And the venom is very very poisonous. They can kill any person in a matter of hours after they have um, beaten them. Okay, what is this? We have a Servile right here. Okay, a Servile which is uh, it's not exactly a big cat, but they are excellent hunters as well, very agile animals. Similarly to the um, Clouded Leopard, you know, their patterns on his body actually helps them to camouflage really well so they can, they can actually pounce on their prey without being noticed. Okay, what is this? I think this is another this is actually a mountain lion, which is also known as a puma. So they are very very good hunters like all the other big cats. They are able to scale mountains and pounce on prey when necessary. Okay, a tiger figure, a white tiger. Right here we have a white alligator. Although the white alligator also has the uh, you know, big white frost, the colors actually doesn't allow them to camouflage really well because you know the white actually makes them stand out a lot so it's actually harder for them to survive they can go hungry for many days because not able to catch their prey so so easily and here we have another um i think this is a surveil or a bobcat probably a bobcat a cheetah the fastest land animal yep a white line dish Okay, so basically just gonna show you guys all the different figures. Okay, we do have like two tiger figures right here. Okay, it's really beautiful. Another female lion. So female lions are actually the ones that will do the hunting for their pride, not the male lions. So female lions are actually very, very good hunters. Um, we have a black panther. So like what I've mentioned just now, Black Panthers, they have um, they are dark colored, and that is actually a very very good advantage because the dark colored fur actually allows them to hide in bushes. I mean not bushes, in the forest, in the jungles, so that they can't be spotted so easily. We have a hyena right over here. Let's see what else we got? Two more Black Panthers. Okay. We have a lion crop, and of course, it will grow up to be a big, adult, and strong lion. Okay, a lioness. This is a lioness caring for a carp, carrying it, um, you know, by the scruff of the scruff of the skin. Next, we have another bird of prey, which is the vulture. So the vultures, they are good. They are very deadly as well, they actually attack the dying and they will feed on like carcasses and corpse. Yeah. Another female lion. Let's see, what else we've got? The white tigers. White tigers are actually larger than the normal tigers that we usually see because of their genes. Their body is kind of like, you know, way bigger than, uh, you know, a normal tiger. Lion, okay, another beautiful tiger. This one is a really beautiful one. You can see it is like you know intimidating its prey right over here. All the teeth are shown and it's basically raw. Lion, another lion figure that looks very adorable. This is a leopard for sure. We have some cubs right here, some uh, black panther cubs. We have a lion cub right here that looks so adorable. And if you take a look at the face, he or she is basically like training to be a king. <laughs> it's very adorable. So here's another one which is a bit more playful, in a more you know, playful position. And two more right here guys. A black panther and Alright, 
thanks for watching this guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this video um yeah let me know what other videos you guys want me to make and i'll be happy to do it i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye